there is a lot for mathematics to say uh, about things related to speech science. My personal favorite is uh, a so-called glottal inverse filtering where we try to uh, divide vowel signals into excitation signals and shapes of vocal tracts. Now, I would really like to show you what happens at the vocal folds, but there is a slight problem with that. You know, if you take a look at the vocal tract sideways, it starts from the mouth, goes in, turns down and goes down uh, up to this point, like uh, the vocal folds are behind the Adam's apple, and we can't really see through this kind of a curved space. What we can do, however, is to insert a camera uh, that looks through uh, a pipe that has a mirror in the end of it. And the mirror will turn the look of the camera downwards, and then we can see the vocal folds in action. <laughs> I just love to study inverse problems. So, uh, the actual excitation signal at the vocal folds is something we cannot really record or hear directly, because it's always surrounded by the vocal tract that will modify it. However, I do have this kind of a device, actually meant for disabled people who have maybe undergone uh, a surgery for cancer, uh, or for some other reason cannot use their vocal folds. So this thing makes a noise like this. It tries to imitate what's going on at the vocal folds. So I can replace my uh, the extension signal here by this. So. so the point here is that while this, this sound remains the same, I can change the shape of my mouth and, and the whole vocal tract to go from one vowel to another. For example, now uh, I promise I will only change the position of my lips. Listen to this. We went from A ah to O oh by just changing the position of the lips. So this is the effect of the vocal tract. We can also model uh, the effect of the vocal tract to the excitation signal. We can use this kind of uh, round, simple shapes that kind of try to uh, follow the wide and, and narrow parts of the vocal tract of a certain vowel. And as you can see, this is a very simple shape like piecewise constant shape and, and uh, rotationally symmetric. Let's hear this. And now, if we change the shape, nothing else, just the shape, we get a different vowel. Let me emphasize here that the only difference between these two guys is the shape. They are built from the same material, actually 3D printed uh, with a printer in my lab, and just how the airspace inside is shaped uh, produces these different vowels. I have a third one as well. My interest as a mathematician uh, to this field uh, of speech signals stems from the need to provide disabled people with better uh, speech synthesis software. So these days uh, it's often the case that a little girl who has lost her voice has to speak with a computer synthesis device that speaks with a grown man's voice. Once we can solve this uh, glottal inverse filtering problem, we can uh, find out or record natural glottal excitation signals and use them in synthetic speech in, in a computer that contains emotional content and uses the same kind of um, ways 
we people who, who still have the ability to speak, how we use our voice.